Welcome to Par Excellence Tutorials. So in case you need a tutor to tutor you in physics or mathematics, you can get in touch with me on the number that I've dropped in the description box or through the email as well that is, I've still dropped in the email, uh, in the description box. Yes, and if you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, I'm kindly asking you to do so. And as well as uh, hitting the, the notification bell so that you can get notified each and every time I post, upload a new video. Yes. So we have the question here in the lab, in the physics lab, a cube M slides down a frictionless incline as shown in the figure below. So I'm not able to get the figure, but uh, that is the rough free illustration here. And the elastic strikes another cube m that's small letter m at the bottom that is only half its mass so what we have is uh, small letter m is half the capital letter mass in terms of masses if the incline is 30 centimeter high and the table is 90 centimeter off the floor where does each cube land so we use conservation of energy in this uh, momentum uh, conservation of linear momentum in this case to be able to find the velocities. So once we find the velocity from linear momentum, we are going to use those velocities or we are going to find again time. And after finding time, we'll be able to get the position of, yeah, where these uh, cubes are going to, to land. So now we need to know the speed at which this cube or capital letter M uh, had before hitting the small m cube. So how do we do that? We use conservation of um, of energy for for this cube. So before it started moving, it had the potential energy. It didn't have uh, kinetic energy. It didn't have speed. So kinetic energy was zero initially. And then final, we are going to have kinetic energy and potential energy is going to be zero. So we have in V squared. So we have um, V1 being equal to root of two GH, which we are going to have two, nine, eight, one. And H is in centimeter. So we convert it to, uh, it's in centimeter, we convert it to meters. So we have 0 0.3 meters. And then this speed is going to be, it's going to be 9.81. Okay, so we are going to have 2.43 meter per second. That's the initial speed. So now we can use conservation of linear momentum of which we know that in the first place, we have M V1 plus a small letter M, which is half capital letter M V2. Okay, so this is the speed, initial speed for V2 should equal to the final momentum M one so the final velocity we are going to put the prime there to indicate to differentiate the initial and the final plus is there well, half m so we are using half m because that's the relationship that we've been taught okay and two prime like that so this will cancel and then we are going to have v1 we already have uh, 2.43 and then the small q, uh, cube with small letter m with mass small letter m was at rest so its velocity is zero so this whole part is going to give us zero so we are going to have 2.43 being equal to the final velocity for one and plus the final velocity for for that other small M mass, so which is 0 0.5 V2 prime. So we have our equation one like that. Okay, so now 
From there, we can be able now to say, okay, since uh, this, um, this situation or the collision is elastic, okay, since the collision is elastic, then their relative speed are not changing. So what do I mean? If the, the, the collision is elastic, their relative speed are not changing. So this is what we are going to have, okay? So we substitute of which this one is zero. We are going to have 2.43 being equal to positive V2 minus V1 prime like that. And that will be our equation two. So we can now use, uh, bring in mathematics concept of, uh, maybe simultaneous equation to be able to calculate the, the values for V prime one and V prime two using equation one and equation two. So this is what we are going to have now. We are going to have 2.43 equal to v1 prime plus 0.5 v2 prime. And then equation two will be that being equal to v2 prime minus v1 prime. So we can, we can add the two equations. And once we add these two equations, what we are going to have is, V1 prime plus negative V1 prime is going to be zero. So we are going just to remain with V2 prime. So it's like a elimination method. So here we are going to have 4.86 being equal to, and then we add 0 0.5 V2 prime plus V two prime of which we are going to have 1.5 V2 prime. So we divide throughout by 1.5 of which we are going to have now V2 prime is going to be it's going to be 3.24 meter per second. Okay, so that is our our v2 prime so that's the final speed so now after finding that we can put that v2 prime in any of the equations equation one or equation two and we can still get our v1 so we we can even put uh, two equation one so if we put in two equation one we have 2.43 being equal to V1 prime plus 0 0.5 multiplied by 3.24. So what do we get? We get uh, 1.62. We get so 1.62. We bring it to the other side, and what we are going to have is 2.43 minus 1.62 will be equal to the one time. So we have V1 prime will be equal to 0 0.81 meter per second. So these are going to be the final speeds that these cubes are going to have, okay? So now after finding that, we can now be able to find the, the time, okay? We can be able to find time which it takes for these cubes to land on the ground. Given the height 
being 90 centimeters. So now, after the collision, these cubes move in the, in the horizontal, okay? In the horizontal direction. So in the Y, we don't have a velocity. So we are going to have half GT, okay? Because they're going to move in the, in the horizontal, okay? So they don't have a component here. I know <laughs> the equation, this equation, is is given by this is it okay so now after a collision they're going to take the same time to to reach the ground so now since we don't have the component in the vertical that's why i wrote just that in the first place in case you got confused so 90 centimeter can also be converted to um, meters of which we're going to have 0 0.9 being equal to half 9.81 t squared of which sorry that's half not one quarter so we have um, so we have time here we have uh, 0 0.43 seconds okay so that's the time so now we can we can use the speed because this speed is uniform. So we are going to uniform and constant, of course. So we are going to use this speed to find time for to find this the displacement. So for x1, that would be the 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 displacement for the cube with the capital letter M mass. So we are going to have its speed 0.81 times time, which is 0 0.43, will give us what? Give us 0 0.35 meters. And then for x2, its speed is 3.24, and time is 0 0.43. So what do we get? We get um, 1.39 meters. Okay. So this is where these cubes are going to land. 1.39 meters and 0 0.35 uh, meters. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. So if you found this video helpful, kindly like, give it a like comment yeah comments they give me I, I see the feedback i get feedback through the comments so you can comment you can also share and also invite other people to subscribe the youtube channel and don't forget as well to hit the the the, the notification bell so that you get notified each time i post a new video thank you so much